Paramotoring is something that a relatively small group of people actually participate in. Sharing our experiences with others is a great way to introduce new people to this form of flight. One of the best ways that I think we can share with our family, friends, or even strangers for that matter, is to show them some of the footage of our own flights. I saw this post come up on the Paramotor Facebook page. It said, what's a good video editing software to download on a Mac? Though this isn't exclusive for Mac, and you know, it also applies to PCs as well, uh, for all intents and purposes, I'll share some thoughts on three of the most commonly used editing softwares and offer my suggestions at the end as to which one may best serve you for what it is that you're trying to make. Uh, they are iMovie, Final Cut Pro, and Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's start with iMovie, being that it's the most basic. So if you were to take your GoPro and get done with a flight and come back down and you just want to piece together a video really quick, uh, you can drag the files that you save to your computer and put them into the timeline in iMovie and you can type in your song that's saved to your computer as well, drop that on the timeline and basically export it just like that. There's a, some other things you can do as well, um, like add titles, but you're not going to have nearly as much control as you would in some of the more advanced video editing softwares that are available. Uh, this is the only free one within the list of three editing softwares that I'll be mentioning, but uh, it gets the job done if you're looking to just create something fairly basic that you can share with your friends. Assuming you wanted to push your videos a little bit further, not a little bit, a lot further, is Final Cut Pro 10, which is the most updated version of Final Cut Pro. It's also an application that's created by Apple and is available on the App Store. Because of the amount of control that you have over every element, to include narration, sound effects, transitions, color grades, titles, keyframes, all these things that you may not be familiar with and may be more than you feel you want. But for example, um, with Final Cut Pro, you can start to incorporate things into your clips or into your video that are maybe the things that you see and like on YouTube, on some of your favorite YouTube vloggers. The last one to mention is Adobe Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro used to be a software that you could buy just straight out, um, a one-time payment, but they don't do that anymore. Now Adobe Premiere Pro is part of the Adobe Suite. Um, the Adobe Suite is, includes multiple different multimedia editing softwares, whether you're into photography or making music. Or this or that. Anyways, what you would do is you would download the Adobe Suite to your computer and then select which specific program within the Adobe Suite that you want to use. Adobe Premiere Pro is within that suite. I do like the software, however, Adobe Premiere Pro has by far the steepest learning curve. I wouldn't recommend it to somebody who's just like, hey, I want to slap together a video uh, because this one, it takes time to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Even once you get the hang of it, the fact remains, you're going to be making more inputs into the video using your keyboard and mouse and dragging every little element to exactly how you want it, which is gonna take time. So to wrap it all up, I'd say if you're looking for the most basic thing, that's the key thing to remember. If you're looking for something very simple and you don't want to get frustrated in the process of making something, just get iMovie. You can still do a lot with iMovie, but the fact remains is you can't do nearly as much with iMovie as you can with the other two softwares. Hope this helped. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond, or you can even uh, send me a personal message. That's all I got.